One thing that I've started doing recently, and it seems to make life a whole lot better, is organizing the bolts and hardware that comes off the car. And you can find like little organizer bins or whatever, for like five to like 20 bucks, depending on what kind you want. And I picked this one up for like $9. And it has a bunch of little different compartments where you can like stash bolts or whatever. So pretty much what I'm doing, everything I take off for every series of bolts, clips, pushpins, whatever, that I take off of anything on the car, I'm putting it on this, each individual little tub or uh, bin, and I'm gonna put like a little note that says where I'm taking it off. Main reason for that is, a lot of these bolts in this car are the same, so you can kind of get away with, you know, mix and matching or whatever, but it's, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get myself more in the habit of doing this with every car that I work on, just in case if the car sits for a while, and there's a chance the bolts, you know, and getting kicked around or whatever. This way, there's all they're organized, and you know exactly where they came off of, and you can put them back exactly where you got them. Especially when the car sits for a while in a condition like this, where it's just lifted up in the air, or the engine's torn apart, or transmission's out, or whatever for whatever reason, forever long. This way, it kind of helps you remember where the stuff goes, and you know what kind of order they went in, and where you got it from. his car is we're gonna do his first differential fluid change which is a pretty easy thing to do so underneath the differential you have this big bolt and there's a plug and then you have one here off to the side of the towards the passenger side axle and to unloosen these or whatever it's pretty much a 10 millimeter allen key which you can use the allen key or you can use a stop socket like this the 10 millimeter and then pretty much Once you break it free, all right. So you can actually see how dirty this oil is. The good thing about it is that we're going to be going with fresh gear oil. This will be your fill point, and you pretty much just fill it to where the oil starts pouring out of this top hole, or this top plug up here. Once the oil starts pouring out of here, that pretty much tells you that this is where it's supposed to be. Uh there is a crush washer that goes on these. A lot of people will say you should change it, but if this is your first time or you've only done this a couple times, I don't really think there's any really need. I've done this hundreds of times on my car, and I still have the factory crush washer that it came with. And that's it. That's the diff. What about us for getting ready to do the transmission? First, what I'm doing right now, or what I've already done, I went ahead and go ahead and just collected the battery, and I went and go ahead and got the engine harness unplugged. And pretty much just like tape them off to the side. What I'm about to do next is get the starter undone. Just ground off here off to the side. Get that and remove that out of the way. Do the top bell housing bolts. Get the slave uh, cylinder out. And then once all that's up and out of the way, get back underneath and start doing the bolts underneath so I can go ahead and get the, uh, the dry shaft undone and the exhaust and all that out of the way so I can go ahead and pull the transmission so we can go ahead and do the clutch. Alright, let's get into it. All right, right now we're at the point where all the bolts to the bell housing are off. The transmission mount is already kind of loosened up. So is the mount for the dry shaft. So what we're gonna do next is pretty much go ahead and drain the oil in the transmission and then we're gonna get inside and undo pretty much where the shifter connects and everything. Unbolt that so I have nothing hanging until when the transmission drops.
Same thing with the diff. There's a 10 millimeter plug towards the bottom, more towards the driver's side. All you gotta do is open that up. Once you remove the bolt, let the transmission go ahead and drain itself out. This one's gonna take a little bit longer because it does have a little bit more fluid in it, but you can see how dark it is. And then up here on the, along the same driver's side of the transmission, there's the same size plug, 10 millimeter Allen, which is pretty much your fill point. So you will fill the transmission until you get to that point to where that is pretty much pouring out exactly how you lift the furniture was, but you're repeating the same process from the transmission. So everything underneath is pretty much done. I have now left to do is pretty much just the turbo kit itself. Essentially now all I have literally left is pretty much the front end of the car. And it's pretty much going to start off by taking off the exhaust, exhaust manifold, draining the uh, engine oil out of it. So therefore I can get the oil pan off so I can put the new oil pan and give it about at least 24 hours for that to seal. And, and then after that we'll go ahead and put the new turbo manifold on with the turbo and everything, start throwing the accessories on. Pretty much go ahead and get this car complete. Oh, <laughs>